Well, that certainly did disappoint. And if you've seen how things have gone over the past three weeks, I did not expect this championship to be involving these two teams. <laughs> I mean, I picked a West Coast championship, and it did not come close to happening. I'm not even going to recap the entire tournament and everything like that because so much has happened. What a crazy 2022 March Madness. And it all culminated in the national championship down in New Orleans with North Carolina and Kansas. The upstart North Carolina. Hubert Davis is North Carolina. Taking on Bill Self and the Kansas Jayhawks. You know. And this game right here was really intriguing because at first, you know, and, and, and I'll admit I have some bias here because I do not like Kansas as a Texas fan. Don't like Kansas. However, North Carolina was whooping up on Kansas in the first half. They were getting everything. They were getting everything. They were getting. They were all ball, nothing else. They were they were all on the ball, nothing else. Kansas couldn't make a shot to save their life in the first half, and then everybody got going in the second half. When you got Braun, when you got Ochai Abaji again, he he what he didn't really uh, Abaji didn't really do anything in the first half. Didn't really do nothing in the first half. And then he got going. You know, you know, again, this whole Kansas team, Bill Self must have said something in the locker room. To get David Cormack up and running, to get Ribby Martin up and running. Ribby Martin's been kind of an underrated guy this entire season, you know, for Kansas, you know, Jalen Wilson too, if we can get that guy up and running. But then, you know, the second half, you sit here, you, you're you telling me North Carolina has a 15 point lead and they blow it in one of the worst ways imaginable? You can't be serious. Like, and, and again, you know, Brady Manick got bullied tonight, too. That was another big thing that I took away from this game. He, this man was out here getting bullied. Like, anybody gonna help this man? Roddy Davis, you gonna help this man? Caleb Love, you gonna help this man? Armando Bacot, you gonna help this man? You know, and, it, and there were injuries, multiple injuries as well. Like, like, man, this was pure insanity. Also, Lee Black didn't really do anything either in this game, which is very surprising. Like, he only has two points. Uh, and North Carolina has seven-man rotation versus Kansas's what nine-man rotation? Yeah, you know, yeah, you know, nine-man rotation. I'm looking at right now. You know, I have to look at the stats again and everything to just wrap it all up. Because I mean, again, you know, things really. This is a tale of two halves type of game here, and that's exactly what happened. Like, I don't think anybody expected North Carolina to be here at this stage, but the way they played in the first half. It's pretty solid. It, it got me riled up, and I thought that they could continue that, but no. They choked it away, and again, they choked it away in one of the worst ways imaginable. I mean, both teams, you know, Kansas didn't shoot well for a hot minute. Then they got hot. North Carolina, on the other hand, they shot only 32% from the field in this game. Like, Kansas shot nearly nearly like 15% higher like 45 and then you know you got you got all this stuff happening you know you know with, with all with all of the things happening in this game like again the emotions are high tension is high everything is getting high and mighty in this game and unfortunately for North Carolina unfortunately for Hubert Davis you know despite the fact that they got they got the one up over Duke you know they failed in this game and I mean you can't pull an Atlanta Falcons in this game you can't do the ultimate choke in a national championship like that and that's exactly what they did so North Carolina sad to say no championship for you but Kansas first time since 08 that you guys get to hold up the championship trophy of college basketball and you guys are the kings of college basketball this year is second straight Championship for the Big 12 Conference, um, which is really saying a lot because, again, I think this is pretty much confirmed what we've been saying the past three years now that the Big 12 is the best conference in college basketball. Do not forget that. 
Um, and, and everything else, you know, it's been a fun season. I've enjoyed every video I've made covering college basketball this year. And I hope to get to see you all again in November next year. And I hope there's some newbies coming around. You know, they're like, hey, this guy likes to talk college basketball. Well, you know, why don't you hit that subscribe button? You know, maybe like you know, and do a little sharing and do a little bit of comedy and do a little bit of subscribing. Yeah. Yeah. Do all that, please. Um, but in any case, congrats to Kansas for winning the national championship. Uh, what a fantastic, thrilling ending this was. And again, one of the worst final possessions I think I've seen in my entire life. Like, there was a final possession earlier in the season by Auburn that was bad. This takes the cake of worst final possession of the season. Like, my goodness, man. I, I cannot even... Like, like, going for the three was actually the wrong option here, too. It doesn't make any sense. Uh, North Carolina. <laughs> well, I mean, it's always next year. So with that being said, yeah, it's, it is done for the season. We are done with college basketball for this season, and I hope you all enjoyed the ride, the 20 video ride, the 20 three or four week ride you had a 20 something week ride all the way to New Orleans and again I hope all y'all enjoyed the ride because we had a lot of fun doing this we had a lot of fun and we get to have a lot of fun once again you know next season come 2022 to 2023 going into 2023's March Madness wherever the championship may be because I don't remember where it's actually supposed to be at uh, but yeah, see y'all in a few minutes. We got to this weekend indoor football to get out. So I'm going to let the rain clouds, you know, because it's, it's thundering real bad out right now. So I got to get these out really quick. Take care. I'll see you all in a few minutes with this weekend indoor football.